Surprises, surprises. All that you are about to see from now is the surprises that God is bringing into your life as a way to answer your prayers of many years. God has promised to change that situation of yours. God has on several occasions told you to calm down and know that He is the Lord and He will never fail you. But all this while you have not seen any changes and you have not known any improvement in your life over your pains and your struggles. This has been your concern and you have given all you have to ensure that you see what you want, but nothing is coming. That is the reason you have resolved to give up and see what will happen if you do the wrong thing. But you know that it is never the right thing to give up because over this matter, you have come a long way and giving up now is never the best. There is good news for you from the Lord. God is bringing in a surprise blessing and answers to your prayers. Have you been wondering the reason you have not celebrated anything good in your life? Have you been wondering why your life has dried up like the desert without any sign of life and good accomplishment to show for it? What is that hope that you have lost because you have waited for too long? and nothing is coming to you. The blessings are not coming. You have been down with illness. You have tried all medical measures and procedures, but still you are not getting better. There has not been any improvement in your health, your finance, your job, your business, and you have lost hope because you feel you have failed and there's nothing that can be done about it. Listen to this now. There are always reasons for what is happening to you and there are always causes to the problems and the troubles of your life. The devil is always putting up hindrances on your ways to stop you from getting the blessings that God has prepared for you. The devil knows seasons and times too. The devil knows what is about to be and when it is going to be. Never think the devil is so daft that you as a human being can get something and the devil has not known about it. When you are waiting on God, you do not wait in vain. When you seek a breakthrough from God, things will always come your way as the Lord has always wished to bring that breakthrough to you. You don't talk about breakthroughs without talking about God. There's only one system that has been created for every child of God to break through the tough and the difficult times. There is only one way for you to get out of the community of the devil into the life that the Lord has prepared for you before you were born. God knew you before you were born. He knew you when you were still in your mother's womb and he knows what you are going to become because he created you and has made for you what you will become. The purpose of creating you is always the delight of the Lord and that is the reason he is always making plans to give you all that you have always needed to fulfill that powerful purpose of God in your life. Can you just tell yourself, I have a powerful purpose I must break through? Don't you know that as human beings here on earth, we are on a mission from God. There's always a job specification that has been made for you. God is always on a move and God has a plan for the world. There's the reason he has created you to come and work out his plans here on earth. Now the devil, knowing this, will try to make it difficult for your life to have the serenity that will enable you to accomplish that mission. Now, when you pray and ask God for that breakthrough, when you pray and ask God for God's blessings, healing and deliverance from the chains of the devil that have been keeping you down and making you live a life of misery and sorrow, when you ask God to change your story for good, you know what will make 
him do it for you. It is because you have a mission to fulfill his plans for humanity to be accomplished. The plans of God and your mission here on earth are the reasons God is giving you that breakthrough. Do you see a powerful reason why your breakthrough is sure? You are not going to miss out on the breakthrough. It is closer than you think because God is always in haste to perform his will and the plans he has for his children. You don't have to let anybody tell you that your breakthrough is not sure. You don't have to allow any information to change your mind about the assurance God has given to you concerning giving you that blessing and bringing you out of the situation that has kept you from fulfilling God's will and living a good life. It is out of overflowing joy in God that He has prepared you for the blessings and it is the delight and the pleasure of the Lord to give you the power and the wisdom to break through the tough and difficult times of your life. The second part of Proverbs 11 verse 9 say, but by wisdom is the just delivered. God is working you out of that predicament for the sake of His will and purpose for you. You are not staying there anymore. You are not staying anymore in that sickness and in that pain. God is giving you that healing, blessing and breakthrough as a surprise from the Lord. Divine surprises are coming your way and would change the story of your life and give you all that you want to have in life. The blessings that God has prepared for you from the beginning is coming to you even at the time you least expect that it will come. The reason Sarah laughed when the angel said that by the time of life they will have their child, that they have been praying and waiting for was because she has known that it may not be possible for her to bear a child because of her age and the age of her husband. They were advanced in age and they do not know how it would happen to them again. It was a surprise and it was amazing how it happened. It was a surprise package that the Lord had for them to put smiles in their faces and make them know that no matter what the time is saying about them, and their situation, no matter how long they have stayed in that matter that is hopeless and looks impossible, He is the Almighty God. Those are the solutions that God is bringing to your life now as a surprise, and it is surely going to make you laugh and shout for joy. David did not know that he would be chosen to become the next king. Who would have believed that it is David, the smallest among his brothers? He was not even there when the prophet went to their father's house to anoint the next king. But because God had a surprise for him, they looked for him where he was and made him king over Israel. This is telling you that you do not have to give up on yourself. You do not have to let go of your hope and your faith in God because you have been praying and nothing is happening or changing in your life and your situation. When God will turn away the captivity of your life, you will be like one that dreams but joy and laughter will fill your mouth. You will be surprised. You will be amazed at what God is bringing into your life now. Do you know the sweetest things of life are not going to elude you? It is not going to pass you by because no matter where you find yourself, the blessings of the Lord will always come to you and single you out. You don't just see mountains and the way it is high. You must see God higher than your mountains. The work of the devil is to make sure he makes you see those hindrances as big that you no longer remember God. The devil wants you to feel the pressures of the situation so that you will give up and stop doing something about your goals. The intention of the devil is always to stop you, even 
when the whole issues are tough and difficult, find your way to the Lord and let Him fulfill His wish for you and change things in your life. That impossible situation, that failure, that unachievable career, God is changing them and would surprise you with a change for your sake and you are becoming victorious in them. The negative testimony of people does not matter to God. What matters now is that God is making it possible because of you and God is bringing it as a surprise to you. Among others that have failed, God is blessing you because you have made the Lord your hope and trusted Him and they will be surprised at how it will happen to you. There is nothing else that makes God so happy than to help you and deliver you from your problems when you have trusted Him with the whole of your heart. When you put all your hope in the Lord and your faith is in God, no matter what people are complaining about, you will always testify.